welcome to decoding for kids the idea of this channel is to introduce coding to kids at early stage in this video we are going to play minecraft tower of code game by playing this game kids will get an understanding of how coding blocks work now let's see puzzle 6 in minecraft tower of code game in three different ways using the code blocks given Okay guys, this is puzzle 6 and if you see here the instructions given is looks freezing out there. Navigate through the ice to reach the Solomon. So here Alex is in the boat and this is the path to reach the Solomon and this one is the Solomon. In this if you see your mission is to reach the Solomon but the actual fact here is how you are going to write the code for this puzzle? I mean in how many lines you can write this code. Now I will show you three different ways to complete this puzzle using the code blocks given. Yeah, now the first way of coding this puzzle is using 12 lines of code. Yeah, if you see here. Alex is here and he should at first he should move right and take three steps forward then move left and take three steps forward then move right three steps forward move left and three steps forward to catch the Solomon. For that I am placing the turn right block first. Then I am placing the repeat three times loop. And inside that I am placing the move forward block. Instead of using this loop, you can directly place the move forward block 3 times if you want. If you do that, your lines of code will increase. And then you have to move left. So I am placing this and turning it to left. Then he should move three times forward, then turn right. So I'm placing the turn right block over here, and he should move three steps forward again, and he should turn left and move three times forward. Yeah, that's it. Now if I click the run button, you can see Alex moving. Yeah, that's it. The mission is completed and he has reached the Solomon. Now if you see here, you have written 12 lines of code. If you click the show code, this is the actual coding written using javascript language if you want you can have a look at it or just close this and now i'll show you the second way of coding this for that give start over so that the puzzle will get restarted and here you have to click the reset button yeah now here the second way of coding is nine lines of code using nine lines of code here the same way now i'll be using the repeat until global block and inside that i'm placing the turn right block and i'm placing this move forward block three times since he has to move three steps forward then he should turn left so i'm clicking the drop down thing and changing it to left and placing the move forward block three times yeah that's it now if we click the run button you can see Alex reaching the Solomon. Now 
Yeah, that's it. Here, if you see, you have written nine lines of code. This is the actual coding. If you want, you can have a look at it. Or just close this. Now again, click start over. And here, reset button. Now, uh, now I'll show you the third way of coding this puzzle, which is a very, very efficient one. And I'll be writing this coding in seven lines. For that, first I'll place the repeat until goal block here. And inside this, turn right block. And instead of moving the move forward block three times, I am placing this repeat three times loop. And inside that, I am placing the move forward block. Then again, we should turn left. So I am changing it to left. And placing the repeat three times block over here. And placing the move forward block inside the repeat three times block. Now if I click the run button, you can see Alex reaching the solvent. Yeah, that's it guys. This is the most efficient way of completing this puzzle using seven lines of code. If you click the show code, You can see this is the actual coding written using JavaScript language. If you want, you can have a look at it. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.